Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. It is about a day after digging the bottles with Brandon and he was kind enough to send me to a creek to go look for some more stuff. And guess what? I already found something really amazing. So you're gonna have to wait and see that later on in the video. But I'm gonna be walking this beautiful creek right here looking for antique bottles. So wish us luck. Huge thanks to Brandon from Adventure Archaeology for pointing us this direction. He had some stuff going on today, but he said, come walk the creek, man, and have fun. So we're gonna have some fun today, guys, and find some cool stuff. Wish me luck, let's go. Walking along here, seeing signs of old things, such as old tops like that. Always nice, and y'all, that water is absolutely frigid right now. But it's worth it to be looking for cool treasure. I feel like this should also be loaded with arrowheads. I guess they'd probably be pretty hard to spot mixed in with all this gravel, but there's gotta be some arrowheads in here. Also, this is like definitely land of the skipping stones. You could have a lot of fun skipping these rocks. There's plenty of flat ones. Yep, I'm gonna do it, everybody. I'm gonna, <laughs> oh my God. I flooded my boots because I can't help it because there's this really nice, calm water. It's just deeper. And uh, there very well could be a good bottle down there. So I'm just gonna freeze my legs off today just to find some bottles because I am Wild Kyle. Some sort of broken bottle right here. We'll just pick it up anyways to see what it was. Oh, look at that. It was a Riola. Birmingham, Alabama. Real beat up. But cool to see some of that older soda stuff laying around. This is very, very different from looking at creeks in Florida. Because it's so much wider. Way more surface area to look at, which is interesting. I'm kind of focusing on the edges right now. You can see there's a piece of ceramic something right there and there's all kinds of glass pushed up in these little areas too nice little spot that's for sure i need a little glass bottom bucket or something because i just i just get the feeling these little fast spots are loaded with bottles but it's almost impossible to see down there with the current there's a bottle right there i can tell it's already busted at the top look at that a coca lula Pioneer Bottling Works, Brookside, Alabama. Man, that would have been a cool bottle, but it's all busted at the top. Never found a Coca Lula before, that's for sure. Pretty sure they got sued by Coca Cola. You can see how similar that script is. But those are just such good looking bottles, man. All right, let's keep walking. Yes, you know I love to see creepy little shoes in the creek. Not. Look. Another shoe. This is actually kind of neat right here. Check this out. The beavers absolutely went hard on that piece of wood. Look at all their chew marks. That's pretty cool to see. Beavers doing the thing. I think that there is just a ketchup bottle, but we'll pick it up anyways. Yep, sure enough, it is just a ketchup bottle. Not too bad. All right to see, but not quite what we want. There's a bottle right here. I can tell that the top's busted, but I would like to just see what it is anyways. <sighs> Holy moly. Try pure I have never seen such a bottle. That is a cool shape. Look at that. Man, I'm kind of sad that's busted up. That actually would have been a cool drinking glass if it weren't for all those cracks right there. Could cut it right up there. Tripure Water Company. So that's a type of water. Patent pending, it says. Man, that's a neat looking bottle. I'm really upset that that's busted, but just something to add to the list of things to hopefully find one day. Over there, I don't know how close we'll be able to get to her. Look at that great blue heron. Is that beautiful? See you later. You know what? Even if I don't find cool bottles today, I'm just having a good time out here. I mean, like, I love these 
I love these big old rocks. I've literally spent like 10 minutes right here, just kind of hanging out, relaxing, listening to the sound of the water there. Cause it's just like, it's just absolutely beautiful out here. I, uh, I'm definitely in love with this place. It's uh, much different than Florida and it's nice to get a little change of pace and the weather is beautiful. The water is frigid cold, but that's okay. I think uh, grabbing the jug of water was a mistake because I can't really put it in my backpack. So I have to hold on to it. I see a bottle right here. And what I'm gonna do is hold the jug of water and the camera with the same hand. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna switch hands. I'm gonna hold the jug of water and the camera with my right hand. I'm going to pick the bottle up with my left hand. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's a Coke bottle from Birmingham, Alabama. And it's a Pat D. <laughs> so, not quite the age we're looking for. It is really in good shape. What year? Right there, there's a date code, 1951. Anyways, it's a pretty bottle. I'll haul it out of here. All right, I got a couple bottles showing over here. I set the water jug on the bank for to make it a little easier. And also, <laughs> I'm gonna have to roll my sleeve up a lot, I think, for this one. Uh, I can't tell what it is. Okay, I'm glad I didn't reach down for that one because it is just a Sprite. What's the other one I saw right here? Looks like a Coke bottle, but I think it's unembossed. So I think it's a newer one too. Yep, okay, glad I didn't reach down for that one either. Um, not worth getting. Much, much easier to look walking upstream. Oh, look at that pretty reflection that you see in the camera right there. That's gorgeous, eh? Ooh. Man, <laughs> I'm getting a little mesmerized by that. I hope y'all are too. That's beautiful. Look at that. Very nice. I believe a broken bottle sits here. Let's see what it was. It was, oh, it was a Riola from Birmingham, Alabama. I would not mind a complete Riola. I do not own one, but we will be patient. I'm going to have to hold on to that piece right there. That is, wow, that is really gorgeous ceramic right there with that gorgeous flowery pattern <laughs> I can't even talk that is nice I'm still waking up y'all not gonna lie that looks great well looks like I'm gonna be <laughs> kind of going swimming because that's a deep bottle that's gonna involve a long reach but it looks complete and it looks embossed and it looks like a soda oh <sighs> okay so I'm gonna take my flannel off so I can reach my arm way up in there and we're gonna get it. Wish me luck. I truly, uh, <laughs> I truly know better than this, y'all. I know to bring the grabbers. Oh my God, that is cold. Oh, but look at that. <laughs> That's a perfect Coca Lula bottle. <laughs> a, oh my gosh, sorry if the camera's not right on it. Look at that Coca Lula Pioneer Bottling Works, Brookside, Alabama. <laughs> oh, that was cold to get, but that was totally worth it. Now my arm's going to be all red and cold. Oh, man, that is sweet. I'm so happy Brandon sent us out here, everybody. That is awesome. What in the world is this funky colored thing? Whoa. <laughs> Some pretty strange glass right there. Kind of pretty. Seafoam greenish. And it's the sun's coming out. It's really pretty right now. Nice. I don't think this is old, but we'll pick it up and find out. Oh no, it's part of a Sprite from the 60s. Not very old at all. Check out these absolutely gorgeous rock walls here. That is so beautiful. I'm amazed at how tall these banks are of this creek. Yeah, look at all that. Really, really neat rock formations. Really pretty water, too. Look how clear that is. I must say that I'm very lucky it's not freezing cold out today. It's uh, it's not super warm or anything. I think it's in the upper 60s, but this water, I think, is probably in the lower 60s right now or so. So it's pretty dang cold on my legs, but I'm glad I submerged because that means I can have more opportunity to find other stuff. Um, so I think I see a marble. <laughs> oh, yep. 
Look at that a beautiful little blue marble. That's that's my uh, whatever that is kicking in. I get distracted easily and just look around when I'm filming a clip. <laughs> but that's cool. Okay, we're gonna keep walking, y'all. It's beautiful out here. Let's keep enjoying the day. These little insulator things are kind of neat. They're just kind of pretty to look at. And there's a lot of glass right here. I can't grab a jug. A lot of little bits of blue glass and such and pieces of bottles and of course the usual tires. Gotta be nice and thorough in these little spots. These hairy little spots. You know what I'm talking about, that hair. <laughs> There's a lot of times there could be a bottle sitting in here that got covered up with that stuff. And then it just looks like nothing in the water because it's covered in hair. So you got to look for that circular shape. I don't see anything. But it could be around. Yeah, buddy. That's exactly what I was looking for right there. A water blaster. <laughs> this thing... Uh, I don't think it works anymore. <laughs> but it's always funny to find these. If I had a place to put it, I would haul out of the creek. But I definitely do not have room, sadly. I'm going to leave it there for a, a young kid to find and have fun with, maybe. I think I see the shape of an insulator. <sighs> Look at that. Sure enough. It's actually a really pretty one. Hemming Ray. That is pretty cool. Literally just saw the shape of it. It's all muddy right here. <laughs> it's in great shape. I'll take that. That's awesome. Whew. <laughs> I just made a treacherous journey around a very deep spot. And now I'm making a treacherous journey back down to the creek. Finally to a shallower spot with lots of junk. It looks like good for me. Another insulator, but I think this one's busted. Yep, that one is very busted up. Not surprising, there's a railroad track right here. How about a little toy car? Ugh. A unique thing to see. Hot Wheels, nope, nope, that one's Matchbox. <laughs> nice. This literally feels like it's gonna be... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pioneer Bottling Works, Brookside, Alabama. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That is awesome. Brandon sent me out here and I got that. Dude, that is awesome, man. Check that out. <laughs> I filmed that clip on my phone because I didn't have my camera out yet, so hopefully it turned out all right. But look at that, right where the bottle is sitting. It's just that perfect little spot. I can't believe where it was. It's literally around all these big rocks and it somehow was not broken. So that is absolutely wild. All right, make sure you stay hydrated, everybody. All right, y'all, that's gonna be about it for today's video. I'm absolutely thrilled we were able to come here and find a couple awesome antique bottles from Alabama. I've been seeing Brandon on his channel find these really cool Alabama bottling work bottles and all that cool stuff for a long while so it's really awesome to be in the state of Alabama and to be able to find some myself so again huge thanks to him for sending us this spot to go to and check it out so I could take y'all on a video here in a new place it turned out to be absolutely awesome so thanks for watching guys I'll see y'all in the next video